Well, I had just finished a video that I was about to post and for the first time my capture program it terminated the video before I terminated it and it's gone. Gone into the ether or into the cyber cloud. So I'm just going to do this as quickly as I can. I am tired. I'm tired of listening to this buzzing that is continuous, getting very, very loud. I can feel my feet vibrating on the floor. And, well, what do we have? What do we have? Well, we've got a lot going on. I just want to show you a couple of things. But yes, ultra low frequencies. Coming right into Anderson, California, Anderson, South Carolina, where I live, which is right about here. This is Greer. Yep, what I showed you earlier, the frequencies are being set off wildly again. Are you having flash flooding in, uh, I think this is the Raleigh Durham area of North Carolina? The frequencies, yep, go right through to West North Carolina from South Carolina and Tennessee. Oh my God. And this lovely, they're calling this remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon. You're kidding me. Remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon that is being held in place. Held in place place. So Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, is it really a surprise that you all have flash, flood, watches and warnings, and you will throughout the weekend up to Monday evening. Is it a surprise? Pine Bluff, Arkansas, your roads now are water. No, it's not a surprise. Pennsylvania. Tropical Storm Gordon remnants. That's what you have. And somehow, Tropical Storm Gordon really, wow, did it grow, man. It grew, it grew, it grew. Yeah, now it's Hurricane Florence, okay, and let me just show you where Wilmington, North Carolina, looks like you're getting a direct hit. Hurricane, Hurricane Florence, Hurricane Florence, still not on radar, oh, disappears on radar, but on the satellite, Yes, of course, it still has all of the fabulous signatures of a manufactured hurricane. You know, years ago, at least they looked like hurricanes. Now, well, I guess they don't have to do any photoshopping. They know Americans are just brain dead. And they're not getting off there. Uh, they're not going to get out of the matrix, and they're not going to except that these storms, the flash floods, the fires, everything caused by man. But this is a hurricane, really. You can see all of the clouds being manufactured, all of the white little clumps that just grow and grow. You see the flat lining. Let me just take you through it quickly. Okay. Ah, yes. The top uh, portion of the hurricane. You see how nicely defined it is. Oh, and even the the second tier of the hurricane, nicely defined. Uh, our cloud dots and another defined area. Oh boy. 
cloud dots dots. It, it's so obvious. But another hit with a frequency right here. We don't have right angled hurricanes. But now we do. Mother Nature does not work in right angles. Man does. Alright, let me just bring you to radar and let me show you how they are holding the remnants of Tropical Storm Gordon in place. Look. Oh, it doesn't go any further north. Holding it in place. Pennsylvania, Ohio, Illinois, uh, uh, um, Indiana. This is Tropical Storm Gordon making its way from Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, working its way through all of the states to go all the way north and be held in place. Not going any further. Look how straight lined it becomes. But it looks like you've got waves going through it. It looks like a flash flood happening. But can you see the ultra low frequencies running through it? All right. You can check. And look, I'm having trouble with my eyes. I have to stay far away from the computer screen. So I'm just going to show you the most obvious from the distance. that I am at. I can't, I, my, I'm losing my eyesight, so I have to stay far away. You can look at it. I'll link to this below, but you will see an X-Rad harp ring develop right there. Let's pause it and go back. Now, do you see this defined line right here, ultra low frequency. Do you see this defined line, ultra low frequency? But you can see the frequencies going right through this. Let's get to the next red hop ring. So that portends destructive weather for virtually everybody. If you take this circle and complete it, it extends a long way. It's a, uh, it's a very far radius. But Trenton you go into the middle of the next round harp ring, and that is where a whole lot of destruction can take place. Right smack in the middle of the next round harp ring. The high frequency heating of the ionosphere with these ultra low frequencies that are being set through. I'm so sorry, this buzzing is really driving me nuts lately. It is so unbelievably loud. It's really loud. <laughs> so I just, I really wanted to show you. They can hold these things in place. And how do they hold them in place? They hold them in place with frequencies. Everything's energy. A storm is energy. Frequencies are energy. So they have the frequencies. And you can see all of the defined lines right up here in the top. You can see the uh, frequencies coming out of New York, Binghamton, New York. They can use these frequencies to hold in place storms, to steer storms. But you've got it right on top of the storm. Bingo! Bingo.
I also showed you the ultra low frequencies and the Nexrad harp rings in the video that I posted this morning. And it's happening still again in Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, ultra low frequencies coming out of Oklahoma and ultra low frequencies, high frequency heating signature, ultra low frequency signatures, flash flooding in Texas, well, yeah, you had an awful lot of flash flooding that killed a a woman and toddler. They drowned in Fort Worth. Heavy rainfall across northern Texas.